This video covers Higher Human Biology Unit 3, Kyrie 1 Divisions of the Nervous System and Neural Pathways. First we look at the key learning outcomes, so we'll be able to name the two divisions of the nervous system, name the components of the central nervous system, name the two components of the peripheral nervous system, give the types of neurons found in the somatic nervous system, explain the function of the neurons in the somatic nervous system, explain how the roles of the somatic and autonomic nervous systems differ, give the role of the sympathetic and parasympathetic systems, and finally look at the three different types of neural pathway. So the nervous system is split into two sections. There is the central nervous system, which is the brain and spinal cord running down the center of the body, and there's the peripheral nervous system, which is all the other nerves that run off the central nervous system. So as stated before, the central nervous system only consists of our brain and our spinal cord. There are several different sections to the brain and spinal cord. The brain is covered in a future section. Spinal cord is mainly ignored. The peripheral nervous system consists of the somatic nervous system, or SNS, and the autonomic nervous system, the ANS. So somatic nervous system has the motor neurons and the sensory neurons involved in it. So the motor neurons take impulses from the central nervous system to the muscles and glands of the body. Sensory nervous system takes impulses from the sense organs to the CNS, the central nervous system. On the other side, the autonomic nervous system, the somatic is mainly voluntary, the autonomic is mainly the involuntary. The autonomic nervous system consists of your sympathetic and parasympathetic systems. The sympathetic system speeds up things like the heart rate and breathing while slowing down peristalsis, which is the movement of food in the guts and the production of intestinal secretions. The parasympathetic changes these, but in the opposite way. So as the heart beat increases on the parasympathetic side, it will decrease breathing rate on the sympathetic side will increase and on the parasympathetic will decrease. Perspiration increase, parasympathetic decrease. So, uh, sympathetic decrease of peristalsis, parasympathetic increase, and so on and so forth. Blood will be decreased to the gut in the sympathetic, increase in the parasympathetic, increase blood flow to the muscle sympathetic, decreased in parasympathetic, blood to the skin is decreased in the sympathetic, Increase in the parasympathetic and adrenal production, you may be able to guess this one, is increasing the sympathetic and decrease in the parasympathetic. This is what we also think of as our flight and fright, uh, fight um, production. So we've actually covered all the different parts of the nervous system. We now look at the three different types of neural pathway. There's three special neural arrangements known as pathways in which signals are manipulated to give them a better effect. These are the converging, diverging, and reverberating pathways. In a converging neural pathway, impulses from several neurons travel to one neuron. This increases the sensitivity to excitatory or inhibitory signals. In the eye, this is used in low light conditions to maximize sight. So if you imagine that all of these sensory cells have got a very small amount of light that they've sensed, that can be summed together to give a much greater light intensity and better vision. So this is the example I gave before. You can see um, light reception um, goes through a converging pathway um, in the rods, but not in the cones in the fovea. In a diverging neural pathway, um, there's a single point from which several um, neurons are attached. This affects more than one destination at the same time. It is divergent neural pathways which allow for fine motor control uh, of the fingers and intricate hand movements. In reverberating pathways, neurons later in the pathways can link back to earlier neurons, sending the impulse back through the pathway. This allows for repeated stimulation of the pathway and decreases the number of 
initial input signals we need to give. Reverberating pathways are used in repetitive activities, such as in breathing. We should now be able to answer all of these questions. The CNS consists of the brain and spinal cord. The PNS, peripheral nervous system, consists of the somatic nervous system, SNS, and the autonomic nervous system, the ANS. The sensory neurons take impulses from the sense organs, the CNS, while the motor neurons take impulses from the CNS, muscles and glands in the body. The sympathetic system speeds up heart rate and breathing rate while slowing down peristalsis and the production of intestinal secretions. The parasympathetic changes these in the opposite direction. In a converging neural pathway, impulses from several neurons travel to one neuron. This increases the sensitivity to excitatory or inhibitory signals. In a diverging pathway, impulses from one neuron are split so that they affect several neurons in more than one destination at the same time. In a reverberating pathway, uh, signals from later in the chain can come back and affect those of earlier neurons. Um, this allows for repeated stimulation of the pathway. So hopefully we now understand the first key area of Unit 3.